Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're gonna talk about the 10 reasons why your Amazon FBA product is not selling and let's get to it and let's see how we can fix your product if it's not working and I hope you can listen to this whole episode and really be honest with yourself and analyze those pointers and see which one of those 10 points that actually affecting or existing in your product that you can improve and make those sales that that out there for you. So let's go ahead and do it. If you're new to the channel, my name is Saad Basim and I'm an Amazon FBA seller that I help people in their journey and how to make money on Amazon and on e-commerce. So if you really like this kind of content, I hope you consider subscribing to the channel and uh, we'd love to have you in our Facebook group, Amazon FBA Giants, where we're sharing all the latest tips and tricks and we answer all the questions that you have in the Facebook group by having really an awesome, amazing group of people that are really sharing the same goal and idea and working towards the same goal. So I hope you can join us and you'll learn also more and you improve on your business. So that's been said, let's go ahead and talk about the 10 reasons why your Amazon FBA product is not selling. One, is your listing sucks. And I'm sorry to be honest with you, but most of people who doesn't take a second opinion, most of the time their listing sucks is not well. They think it's good because they have put an effort, but if you give it from professional, a professional eye, you will see there's a lot of a lot of mistakes or a lot of things are not done correctly in their listing. Whether it's images, the copyright itself, whether it's, whether it's the back end, and these things that you really, really, really you need to make sure that's really on point because this is represent you, represent your brand, and represent uh, you as a seller. So this is really important to take care of of your listing. And you have the main, uh, and we talk a lot of times about how to improve your listing. If you didn't watch those videos, please go ahead. We did a lot of live Q and A, live Q and A uh, about it. So I hope you can go ahead and watch it and improve on your listing. Number two, lack of reviews or good reviews. And that's very important. A lot of people, they say, hey, my product is not selling, but then you see they have only one review or they have no reviews or they have a lot of bad reviews. So that's one of the things that you need to pay attention to and you need to know that you need to have reviews as a social proof to move the product, to have to gain the trust of the customer to sell, uh, to buy your product. So this is very important. Usually the threshold is from 10 to 20 reviews. If you can get them, you'll be able to make the sales. I'm not saying this is like, oh, it's a must. There's a lot of products out there that we launched with zero reviews and still was making sales because the product was well done, well differentiated. And that's very important. Amazon. Number three, you have bad review rating, which is really important. So review rating is different than number of reviews. Number of reviews that you have 15, 16, 20, 100, and rating, review rating is actually the stars. Now, the stars are very important. You need to be over four stars to get some sales. Anything below that, you're gonna see significant dip in your sales, and that's gonna affect it tremendously. So usually you wanna stay over 4.3 stars because 4.3 rating is gonna give you four and a half stars uh, showing, which is really important. If you have five stars, you're bingo. So that's why a lot of people sell a lot of good product. Once they sell the products very well, but once they get a bad review, they see a big dip. So that's, that's where you're gonna be in the fixing mode, where you're gonna go ahead and try to get more reviews, whether running a money chat sequence, whether uh, running other uh, stuff to, to gain the reviews, uh, such as, for example, your insert card, email sequence, and also the money chat that I mentioned before. Uh, number four is not enough sales velocity to keep your ranking, and that's very important. If you don't have enough sales, you're not gonna be able to hold your ranking. The keyword ranking that you have done, whether you hired a giveaway uh, service, whether you hired a many chat service, whatever it is, if you're not able to get the sales velocity and, and keep the ranking for those keywords, most likely you're not gonna be able to make those sales because instead of you, you being on the top five positions in the keyword ranking, you fall off to second page or bottom first page and that's really gonna hurt you. So it's very important to track your keywords and make sure that you're already ranking for multiple keywords that have enough significant uh, search volume that's gonna help you to uh, to make those sales and have more visibility uh, when someone types that keyword. Number five is the price is too high. 
Honestly, I see that happening a lot. A lot of people when they launch the product, they expect to sell the product at the asking price that they have in their mind. If the asking price or the price they were really seeking is 30 bucks, you see right away once they launch with zero reviews, they put it at 30 bucks, which is not gonna work. How if someone's gonna have confidence in buying your product if you don't have no reviews, but the same price as other people. So you need to lower the price to substitute or compensate for the lack of reviews and that's going to uh, encourage people to buy your products, which is if they buy a good product, that, which means that you can get reviews because people say, hey, I got it for a very good price and they will be more lenient of giving you a review than a full price. Or other people that they differentiate the product so much, they put a lot of component in the product and then they say, hey, I wanna sell the product for $20 more than the average price on the, on the first page. And that also hurts. Uh, really, you need to make sure you be honest with yourself and ask yourself, will you buy your product if you were the customer or the, or the buyer? And why would they buy your product? This is very important. Number six, you chose, you're in a competitive market or saturated. And that's very uh, things that you need to really keep in mind. If you're launching a product in a market that has a lot of demand, a lot of volume, but it's competitive, uh, everyone's competing on the same keyword, everyone's competing on the same product, no differentiation, they're just competing on the product and is saturated with a lot of sellers, you might not be able to make it if you don't have enough backing uh, or enough money for advertising and marketing, which is gonna help you uh, to get on top, which is takes time, which is very obvious. And I guess, I think you guys know very well what I'm talking about, for example, the supplement product that I launched. It took me two to three months just to make sure that I run, uh, that I'm break even or make a little bit of money until I was able to make it because I was competing with a lot of people that have deep pocket or a lot of people, a lot of products, a lot of options that was very hard for me to rank for the main keywords, but took time with consistency, with enough sales velocity, I was able to make it. And now you guys have seen the results or I have shared with you the results on that account and how much this product is making in sales and how much profit margins I make. Number seven, uh, it's low demand market. Is this is just as bad as a uh, high competitive market or saturated market? Because if you have a market that's low demand and not enough sales coming through it, not a lot of people are searching this product, you will get uh, you won't get the sales and you will get uh, less sales for sure. And especially if you have low, uh, low, uh, low sale, uh, low uh, reviews, or you have a lot of competitors out there, they're offering the same thing with lower price. It's very hard, hard for you to make it, especially with low demand market. Uh, number eight, the product is not differentiated enough. And that's very important. You cannot go ahead and launch a product just like anybody else who's doing well. For example, if someone launching this product itself, this phone, and they're selling the product and uh, you just come in and they're making very good money because they've been there for the beginning, they have enough reviews, social proof, you just come in and launch this product itself, you will not be able to make it most likely because you didn't differentiate it. You didn't make yourself stand out between all these offers or people who are dominating the market. So the best thing to do it is basically you sell this product, but see what I did. I actually have uh, this uh, clip thing on it. I have I have the case. So maybe with something little like this, a product that costs a thousand bucks and giving only, for example, the case and giving this handle, you'll be able to differentiate yourself and intrigue people to buy it, uh, to buy it from you because you have differentiated yourself. Number nine, it's lack of marketing efforts. And they see that a lot. Uh, lack of marketing effort, whether it's PPC, whether hiring influencers, whether having enough budget for giveaway or many chat uh, sequences. Uh, I think a lot of people uh, from my experience that I've been in this business for, for a while now and from all the clients that I mentor or people that I give consultation to, I see that they do all the hard work finding the product, differentiating, getting the product into Amazon, doing the shipping, doing everything. But once they come to Amazon, they just put their hands up and say, hey, no, uh, PPC is too much, costing me money. No, it's a part of the business. If you learn the business right, and if you really uh, paid attention to the videos I made, I always make uh, enough budget for my, uh, for my launching, for my PPC, for my giveaway, and also having enough units for those giveaway to put it in consideration to make sure I have a really successful uh, launch. And that's very important. You cannot 
you cannot launch a product um, on Amazon. Um, I mean, maybe it will happen uh, if you really find a very, very, uh, you'll be the only one product out there or only source of this product, but most likely 99% uh, of people, they need to have a budget for it to have a successful launch and to be able to rank and make those sales. Number 10, number 10, which is I see a lot is short-term thinking versus long-term thinking. Um, guys, nothing is going to happen overnight. Uh, do not expect you're going to put the product there and you be become profitable. It's going to take you three to six months until, depending on the product, depending on the market, depending on the category, to be able to become profitable. Uh, so you need to put that in your vision and do not think that once the product is out there, you're going to make money, your PPC is going to be awesome, everything's going to be awesome. No, it's going to take you three to six months for iteration, optimization, uh, changing your picture, changing a lot of things until you make it happen. It's actually the system itself, A9 algorithm, which is we go into A10 algorithm, it will take time to see where they place it correctly according to your relevancy, to according to your conversion, which is really takes time until you stabilize onto specific ranking. And also you need to pay attention to long-term vision. Uh, what do you wanna do is this brand, what other products you wanna put in it with it. And that's really important to think about it. Think long-term. Do not quit your job right away, uh, which is I see because a lot of gurus out, gurus out there, they say, oh my God, you're going to become rich. And that's false. And you're going to become it's very easy. Why? Because they're driving their Lambo or they're driving their Tesla or they're driving their Honda or they're driving the Volkswagen. And you know out there what's happening. And if you search YouTube on all the Amazon FBA um, uh, gurus out there, a lot of them is just there to get you. Um, now, I hope these 10 reasons, guys, make you look at your own listings or your own brand at your own business model and see if one of those things or multiple points of the one that I mentioned is actually existing your product and try to fix them. And if you don't have the resources or you don't know where to go, just go to Amazon FBA Giants, our Facebook group. You will see uh, you will see other people there that might give you a feedback. Or if you don't want, you just can go ahead and go to AmazonFBAGiants.com and you'll see we have services, really affordable prices, guys, for you. I just want to help you. If you want, go ahead and check them. But if it's not, no worries. Please, just I want you to succeed. I want you to make sure that you really make it out there and have this extra income that helps you to build a business to help your own to help uh, to help you to go on this vacation or to be able to buy this new car or have a little bit of money to be able to pay for your rent or your mortgage so guys if you like the content please like and subscribe let us uh, let uh, let us rank a little bit in youtube algorithm i really need your help and i hope you can help me to uh, get our voice out there and reach more people that we can help with full transparency integrity and honesty which is the slogan of our channel and that's the things how i like to run my business so thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one let's make it happen